Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of FTB Ocean Block. And uh, I think it's time we redo my cobble work setup here. So I've kind of got an area started for that down here. Yeah. And I'm using the uh, immersive engineering breaker switch. Because A, I like the sound effect, and B, it doesn't uh, get knocked off by water like a regular lever does. But, uh, let's see. Thinking just five for now would be okay. Yeah, let's get locked and quantified. Go ahead, now I can just go ahead and get these out of here. All right, so I've got a cobble here. I've got the cobble generator underneath my uh, tier five. I've got a network receiver up here and an interface. So that way I have access to my refined storage system without a problem over here. And I've got power. I've got some transporters on me. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those out and I'll put those away. That should be more than enough. And then cables, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get a bunch of these made up here. Hey, look at that. All right. So how are we going to do this? Well, <laughs> tons of crushers. That's how. All right. So we're going to have gravel, dirt, sand, dust. Right. How it goes, right? Gravel, dirt, sand. Yeah, okay. So let's go... Do gravel here, I guess. Dirt. Sand. And then dust. And I'm going to need, at this point, five more crushers. I just didn't make more because, well, they don't stack in your inventory. So, but at the same time, it really shouldn't take all that long to make these. I should almost get a... Uh, Yep, there we go. A thing going, a uh, wireless crafting monitor. That way you can keep track of things whenever I'm not around. All right. And then that'll be our wonderful dirt, or dust, sand, dirt, gravel. One, two, three for more sand. And then a redstone furnace here, because why not? And now I need to get power to all these things, right? Which really shouldn't be all that difficult, I think. I could just run the cable up top. Although part of me wants to just run it underneath where I can't see it. Oh, hello, water. All right, so we got our cable here. Three, one, four. Let's go ahead and put our flux point here. And main power that. Hey, look at that go. Everything's all nicely lit up down here now. And then last cable can go here. We go and then I can just go ahead and they drop these off. I can probably put those drawers away too. Now we're gonna have these things going like this, right? And let's go ahead and we'll uh run things like that. And because of uh Making things look nicer. There we go. And then you'll have to be up, uh, not that, like so. Dang it. There we go. And you, uh, let's go ahead and get you set up first. 
like that. There we go. Because this won't, the pipes won't connect until I actually get that set up. We're going to go here, side config, input is going to be front. Uh, bottom will be energy. Back is going to be output, auto eject. And then I'm going to be doing that for pretty much all these, right? But shouldn't take too terribly long, I think. Uh, yeah, auto eject on though. I can't remember. Does mechanism have a way of copying settings from block to block? I don't know, actually. Oh, I had it on and turned it off. There we go. All right, and let's see. That's, yeah, energy bottom. Auto reject on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I already get that one? I must have. Yeah, I did. But then once I turn this on, these should start running. And then I'm putting into here. Now let's go ahead and say gravel, dirt, sand, and I don't think I have any dust, do I? Uh, not really. What are we doing on redstone now? Uh, 338. Yeah, I, uh, when I was crafting up everything, I ran out of redstone. So let's get another sand. And can I get... Uh, yeah, there you go. Come on, give. You and there we go. Cool. So, gravel, sand, dirt, dust. And this last one here is going to be glass, actually. This is why I have that furnace down here. There we go. Now, I'm not going to void upgrade these. I want these machines to back stuff and then sit idle until I need them. And I think that's pretty much it, except for let's have to uh, get this done on a few more machines here. All right, so... There we go. And let's see. Energy. Yep. And you should be good to go. I have one, two, three, four, seven, nine, ten. 13 crushers. Yeah, that's going to be a bit on the expensive side. Let's go ahead, though, and grab this out. And okay, I already got my amplifiers. Now, at Mac Energy, I have that's enough for seven, right? We need six more, which is 48. You and you. And let's go ahead and get this uh, running here. And look how fast everything's moving now. At least items through the pipes anyway. The machines, they're, they're not moving so fast. go and then dirt sand we're getting gravel coming in awesome got 
got glass coming in already. Sweet. And just for kicks, let's go ahead and... So there's seven of those. And then can I get another 48? Well, let's go ahead and get these things all ramped up as well. And here's you. There we go. And that's moving pretty fast. Uh, I was taking 200 forge energy a tick per machine. Not terrible, right? Our system, I think, can handle it right now. And last one. Now, let's go ahead and just go all out for this, right? Can I get... Oh, I don't actually have those. Really, I don't have any... At... Drawer. Yeah, I have the, the templates done. Right. But I don't have any of the storage upgrades learned yet, huh? And why not? Well, uh, we'll get to... Emerald upgrades each. And if I really wanted to go fun, I could just go ahead and tear all these up as well. Now dirt. Oh, I missed you, huh? Or I had you clicked over to input or insert, okay. Uh but yeah, no, we're uh, we're doing good. How are you? A world? It can't keep up anymore. It can only supply enough cobble for... Yeah, it's the... The transporter is only providing enough cobblestone to keep two of these running. Oh, that is unfortunate now, isn't it? There we go. Now we got all five running. It's weird how adding a second connection took it from doing two to being able to do five. But hey, hey, I'm not going to complain too much. All right. So let's go at refined. Uh, go ahead and get me external storage. The cable. Go priority 20. And there we go. Now, the thing is, they already had a decent amount of, like, gravel and dirt and whatnot. So what we should do, actually, take care of this for now. Uh, grab all the dirt out. I'm actually completely out of glass, though, apparently. Huh. Where'd all that go? No idea. Travel, and I've got a ton of sand. There we go. And then no dust, no glass, apparently. 
There we go. And that's, there's our gravel again, dirt, sand. Awesome. I could muffling upgrade this. I don't really see much of a point doing that right now, though. Oh, yeah, look at that. It stopped now. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I guess you're going to have to go here. Now it's working. Okay. I could have fixed this with like a logistical sorter on there, but I would have had to move some stuff around. So, hey, that works though. All right, let's go out of here. And let's check on our controller. You know, I just had a nasty thought. Do I really need a controller? All right, hear me out. This one is my main power controller, right? Yeah, fine. Dandy, right? Only producing 22,000-ish right now. Yeah, you are that low on everything, huh? How are you doing? You're fine. You are... Running out of hydrogen, actually. Hmm. I wonder if they ever fixed it so that, uh, the other one 112, it didn't matter what you, or how many upgrades you threw into the, uh, electrolytic separator. It always kind of ran the same anyway. Like energy upgrades, it didn't do anything. Speed upgrades didn't do anything. Like energy upgrades are doing a thing though, though. 164 energy attack. Okay. A few thousand. Okay. Now, how's our. Oh, yeah. Look at our hydrogen now. It's like that number's going up, too. Okay, cool. And. For my oxygen, you're dumping excess. All right, cool. So I am going to need oxygen eventually. Mm, eventually. Really should do something about moving this, though. Oh, yeah. And then the more we give it, the more... Yeah, see, now we're generating 47,000. Yeah, no, I was... <clears throat> so back to the, do I need a uh, controller? Here's my generator's network, right? There's no controller for that network. I completely spaced that whenever I was uh, getting everything set up. But it's still moving power around without an issue. So, yeah. My input 60,000, output's right around between 8 to 10 right now. So, I mean, not terrible. So how am I powering this, uh, the back half here, right? That's right, you have your own little point right here. Okay. Wow. With eight speed and eight energy upgrades, this thing is using 20 RF attack. Hmm. Really forgot that this had burned a bit. Oh, yeah, and look up there. Missing a big chunk of this. Oh, well, this platform needs to. Something needs to happen here soon anyway. Uh, namely, these seeds need to go elsewhere.
just trying to think of how I should do things. Oh, I also sped upgrade with my uh, chemical crystallizer, and now the, the main drag on it is actually the concentrator. Oh, no, not you. You. There you go. How am I sitting on lithium right now, anyway? Uh, 972. Okay. All right. So, got myself a cobworks going. Uh, let's see. Let's get you put down here. I'm going to need to get some recipes, though, here, too. So, let's go... Uh, let's just add that to the list here. Because I want... Actually, here, let's do it this way. Oh, of course. Remember, the uh, system needs planks. I wanted to run it through the sawmill here. There we go. There's that. Uh, get rid of that, though. And... Oh, I can't do that there. Okay, fine. Whatever. So, oak wood here. And then let's go with planks. Actually, no, I got the planks already, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get some patterns going here. And also, though, I'm going to want an exporter. Say you. And let's see, cabling. I don't think I need. Don't need those hanging there right now. Uh, stick recipe though, right? Well, how are we doing? Um. Yeah. Let's uh. And that's literally any plank, huh? Okay, let's just, uh... Do that and then that. There we go. Put you away. Down here. And I'm going to want this thing to auto-export Cryptocacia logs. and planks into the system, or into that sawmill. Because the cache is what I'm using to get latex with here. So instead of having it just like end up in my system and not do anything, I figured why not just go ahead and uh, the energy back is fine. Uh, output, auto eject is on. Uh, input will be on the top. There we go. And uh, I guess if I'm going to do this, it needs to be no. Hmm. Just put it all the way over here on the end. Then I can just slap this right here, and then you can go right here, right? And you are going to auto eject. That and that. And then you can be input. I'm like, why isn't it ejecting? It's because I've got all of it in my weapon inventory here. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see. I do need my logistical transporters, though, because I forgot I didn't run those all the way down yet. There we go. That's mainly to keep items from trying to flow that direction. Go ahead and turn auto sort on. 
go ahead and give you these. You don't have any power, though, because I didn't run the cables all the way over, either. And I am just not with it right now. There's that, that, that. There we go. And... There we go. There's our power again. Uh, did I upgrade you all the way? I did. Okay. Now... Muffling. And also, I guess a stack upgrade. There we go. At least it'll run through everything at once. But, uh, can I also get these things here? All right, and are there going to need to be any other? I mean, I guess I could do like spruce as well, but not a huge deal. It, one of the main things is I'm going to need a lot of sawdust as well. I've like, I got 300 so far, so there's immersive engineering sawmill. Like it gives 100% sawdust, though. The precision sawmill only gives 25%. Uh, pulverizer. Log into sawdust. It's not a bad idea. We get sawdust from breaking up uh, diamond tools, huh? Okay. And then 25% chance sawdust here. So for sawdust, either we need immersive engineering sawmill or pulverize logs. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's just grab that. Can I help you? Wow, um... Oh, yeah, that would be an issue, wouldn't it? I have to remember, I have to upgrade everything. So, there's that, and then there's that. Are you just... Yeah, you were just ghost items? Okay. Alright, cool. So, now how are we doing on Sawdust? Uh, 800. Okay. So, really? I'm not going to need that many. Uh, you know, something I should do... Is I'm going to be producing some auto-crafting-wise. But, uh... Go ahead and grab one of those and one of these. Go you, pull this. We're going to go eight of you, though. Equal, <clears throat> excuse me, equal stack of that. There we go. And, oh, not sign factory. Where's my pulverizer? Uh, towards the top, isn't it? Pulverizer. Yep. Single recipe in it. Boom. There we go. All right. So if I want, say, mm, 700 is a good number, right? I have 704, needs to craft 80 oak logs, takes 15 wood essence. 
And that'll get me over 1,500 Sawdust, so that'll be enough for our first, uh, first Sawdust Singularity. And then I can just request, like, 1,500 or so to go whenever I want. Yeah, this is all sort of screwed up over here now, isn't it? All right, so you stabilized it 112,000. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's staying right about halfway. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we're pushing, pushing 112,000 uptick right now. Yeah, I think we're good on power for a bit. So, but I still want to build up a pretty good reserve before I start doing draconic anything. If I could fill up my induction cube down here, that would be awesome. Because, well, 3.2 trillion, right? Uh, let's see, what was it? The blazing, blazing mesh takes 5.1 million, 5.1 million for the blazing, uh, empowered sluice as well. Uh, what else was there? Uh, singularity, right? There's the ultimate singularity thing. That takes 32 million. Uh, it takes a hundred million for a chaotic core. 20 million for a Draconic Chest, which is a work in progress. 128 million for the uh, Chaotic Capacitor. 256 million to upgrade a Power Pot Mark 1 to a Mark 2. And also Power Pots, honestly. So that's uh, definitely a thing. Yeah, 8 million to upgrade to Chaotic. Those are the cheap ones, actually. The uh, Infusion Injectors. Yeah, 512 million. To go from a tier 2 to a tier 3 power pot. And then how much does that thing take per go? Uh, were you under miscellaneous? Yeah. The Mark 4 requires 768 million. Versus 512. And it takes 350,000 forge energy a tick. I think this would be the way to go though in the future. Hello squid. Yeah, we've got a few people down here. There we go. And I'm almost at a cobblestone here, so. And yeah, we're a little over halfway. Close to three quarters, really. And look at that, we're out of redstone. Yet again. I don't know how I keep like perfectly using up all every red, bit of redstone I have, but apparently I, it's a thing. I should check that though. Okay. Uh yeah, I've got 70 essence in here. Okay. There we go. There's another stack and a half anyway. All right. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call us an episode. Um, oh, yeah. Flint doesn't do anything, does it? Uh, you were... You were blue. You were green then? Yeah. Can okay, you filter? Item stack. Flint on green. Save. And the cool thing is if I go to move this system... These will uh, remember the uh, filters and whatnot you have set. Kind of nice. Uh, I think this is a pretty decent selection of all the... Uh, you know what? I just noticed this. Uh, all the different ores that we can get, though. So I should probably get some sort of ore, you know, produ you know, production of some flavor set up. Uh, and there's a few other things. Like, I'm going to eventually need... Uh, pink slime, right? Was the uh, was the laser? Laser base? No. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's the uh, advanced machine frames. I need netherite scrap. Great. 
and I need pink slime. And what all do we need these for? Enchantment sorter, applicator, food sitting machine, infinity charger. Okay. I might actually get into that. I've, n I've never bothered with the infinity stuff, but uh, I might actually do that. Basis chamber. Yeah, that was... A I had a recommendation in my comments to uh, basically throw a stasis chamber over there and it'll keep the blazes from doing anything and heal them so I can basically just consistently get what I need out of them. Um, yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty good though. And having the walls up and then the glass, you know, age around the whole thing seems to be doing the trick. So... Uh, let me look up, though. Yeah, I'm just going to add this to my to-do list now. Uh, so you don't need that. That. Oh, uh, yeah, phytogenic insulators. I never bothered. I set the recipes up like that. I just never made them. I never did the actual insulator itself, though, did I? Got all the components, but I never bothered with the actual machine itself. And I want a recipe for this just in case it turns out it's actually really good. And I want to go with more of these. So, do a quick check here, right? And then Fido Grow, I should probably go ahead and teach that as well. Uh, Sand Appetite Niter gives me eight. Yeah. I got a lot of that stuff. And are you going for sand or red sand? Regular sand, okay. I actually did teach the system how to make red sand because, yeah. I had a couple recipes where that was a thing, and it's just like, I don't want to go through, dig up all the recipes, and, uh, yeah, go fix them all because they had red sand pop in, and I, you know, left them as a, uh, Exact. Right, so you you need water, you need a catalyst to some flavor. Uh ender tanks, right? I think it was blue that I had. Put up as water. So let's grab three of these. Is it not blue? Or is it not triple blue? Oop. No, it is white, blue, white. Okay. Do I have any white dye? Not really. Can I make some? Yeah. There you are. And input. Now there is uh, the components, right? So let me grab one of these. And then did I? I did. The uh, cyclical processing. Products may be transferred to input on process completion. So... There is my resident integral components. There is that. Let's go ahead and get two linkage amplifiers. And one of you. All right. So augmentation, you, you, and then you. Now I'll hold 16 buckets of water. It'll hold 200,000 forge energy or RF. Uses 240. That's not bad. Have a sea pickle. That is a lot quicker than this is. Um, so 
Lime dye is only used really. And singularities. So in here, it takes 45 seconds to grow. Hmm. Maybe like six seconds, seven on the outside. Even if we do a nine second, which is maybe nine, that's still, you know, one fifth of the speed. Or it takes one fifth of the time. Okay. Oh, and you can actually just go away now. You were kind of handy for a while there, but now. Eh. You just don't have the, the speed. There we go. I still need to hook up my dissolution chamber, too. And let's go ahead, I guess, and get you out of here. And we'll pick you up. And for now, we we'll toss you here. And we'll just have you export out to here, right? Oh, yeah. How do I put? And boom, done. And it's always going to retain one to keep growing. Now, it's slower without the fighter grow. But um, should speed it up a bit, right? Just give me like a stack of this stuff, would you? Oh yeah, definitely faster with it. So recipes. There we go. Catalyst. Bone meal or fatter grow. 3x, 3x, 0.8. Use chance 75%, use chance 50%. Okay. Same energy modifier, though. But, yeah, not bad. I mean, three times the output on these. So, in here, yeah, it's two. But if I give it fighter grow, it's six. I think we can work with that. I kind of am liking this, actually. Fighter grow is not that expensive. Uh, there's phyto soil infuser, which I don't think I need. There is a fighter grow singularity as well. So, yeah, we're going to need a lot of... Appetite and Niter, it looks like. Which, I think I've got Saltpeter Essence going, so not a problem. I know I've got Appetite Essence. And then Sand is doing pretty good now, too. Uh, yeah, we're up to like 3k Sand already. Uh, we're at 2k Gravel. One downside is I was hoping to... Yeah. Well, I guess I still could. Uh, put an external storage on this. Because, yeah, this thing is staying full. So, let's do that. There we go. Um... So it, if I put cobblestone back in the system, it'll try to put it in there first. I, unless I pull like several, you know, hundred out though, probably a thousand, it's going to be full before I can any cobble can go back into it. And that's okay with me. All right, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, got our sea pickle sped up considerably now, which is awesome. We've got ourselves a cobble works. Um, I'm just going to leave that there for any uh, manual uh, smelting I want to do. Oh, yeah, there's the redstone ore there. But, uh, probably should I have enough room to move this down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. Hmm. Yeah, off camera, I think I'm going to go ahead and move my lava smelting down there. And that way I can just hook up a... Uh, 
Did I ever teach this thing fluid interfaces or just regular interface? Uh, just the regular, but here you can have that as well now. Uh, it requires an advanced processor for that, though. And... Go. Because I've got a storage or a, a fluid storage cell for, for lava at this point. So if I hook that up, along with... I'm just making a mess out of everything here, aren't I? Where'd that log go? There it is. Okay, yep. Oop. Can't jump up whenever you hit your head on the uh, a black hole unit there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this thing yet. Uh, how about we go... I, I'm all the way up to Elite. Okay, that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to get this lava. Well, maybe, right? That holds the same as this, so. And that's only a 4096 unit, right? Yeah. Yeah, 2096, okay. Which they go, that, that is the biggest one, it's 4096, okay. Well, there's a creative one, but we can't access that. There's no recipe for it. But I don't think I'm going to need more than that much lava at any one point in time, so. But I'm going to get this hooked together. Uh, I'm going to get this tank emptied into the uh the thing and then after that i'll get this hooked up automatic and then we'll go from there but thank you for coming out i hope you enjoyed this episode and until the next one sign signing out have fun